hoop house uh, chicken tractor that we are building with cattle panels. Kind of just wanted to show you how we were. First building. thing we do is to cut the rails, the runners on this side. This is pressure treated lumber, a five quarter deck board ripped in half for the bottom. And then the two by four is screwed through the bottom onto that runner. That becomes the skid that hits the ground. You can see the other end rail is off the ground. So that five quarter board is what's on the rail. We also take that two by four and cut a, a half inch off the end to full in the middle and then back again a half inch off the other end. So you kind of have a rocker effect on that runner. And that, that way it just kind of helps it when you pull it, kind of gets it up off the ground on both ends. Also, you keep the end two by four flush with the top and that keeps it up off the ground so it doesn't dig in as bad when you pull. And then of course the cattle panels, you just bend them in there from the inside, put them in the inside corner there. And we take little conduit clamps and fasten them together at both bases and then take small hose clamps and every so often we every so often we tie tie these together you see that there we tie them together with hose clamps this is the same here runner and then end boards hold it tie it together and then these are fastened with three inches lag bolts they're about seven inches long they're really beefy and long and they really sunk together you're going to be pulling on this end board with your rope so you really need to tie that together well uh, i find that drilling a small hole and driving those lag bolts in will last for years. The gate wall members, we are uh, putting, this is the side is, will be the door, and the other side will be the nesting box. But on the door, the box, I use truss gussets with a few reinforcement screws to fasten the bottom of both of the uprights that are 67 inches tall. And then just a flat member up here, screw down from the top, top here, fastening them in. And then the wire is connected to this header with a conduit clamp. And that'll serve as the frame for the door. The uh, end wall on the chicken tractor um, using a cattle panel. And we do that by heating They get wrap this puppy around there. They've been pretty easy at this point. Kind of wrap that around. Be close to the other one. There. We've done this side here. And you can kind of see, starting at the bottom, how we wrap these two together. And there's no way that the critter is going to pull this apart and it's also pretty stout actually if you shake this thing around that ties it together really nice on this upper hole here we're not going to put anything cattle panel over that area but we will put some smaller wire around this whole cage because to keep the smaller critters in. so the door just put a couple hinges on and then you can see we put the wire we had some of this wire left over from rabbit cages got some washers and screwed it on this is pretty stout there's nothing going to break in there and then just use one of these keepers it works and then on the back of our door you can see i use some truss plates on the top and bottom, I made my rails on 
the two members going up all the way to the top and a short one in between with the truss. Now what we've done here is the cattle panels are pretty big squares. Critters can get in those. So I, I had this wire I salvaged from a project, turned down some greenhouses and I put that wire over top of it and fastened it with these concrete twisty ties. Actually, these are for my maple lines. These twisties are stainless steel, they won't rust. Here's the finished product. Got a eight by 10 foot tarp. Provides plenty of uh, weatherproofing and lets air circulate. Tarp's all fastened down. We got our two pull ropes. We put, we put a rope on each side. And that's how we pull it. We can pull it by hand or by the tractor.